Okay, coaching during the game, you're the star of the show. Everybody is looking at you. If something goes wrong, everybody is looking at you. If you are a coach that's a play behind, your team's going to be a play behind. Whatever you do, how you react to a, an official's call should be based on what it's already been made. So it should be based on what, what you want to happen next. Uh, so if you're going to yell at an official, we all do, you yell at him for two seconds and then get something going forward. Uh, don't spend too much time about the play behind. The receiver drops a pass comes off the field and you say, don't drop the damn ball. What, what good is that to, you know? You need to, you need to be able to give him something that makes him believe that he can catch the next one. So, or else set him down if you don't think he's going to. But uh, as a coach, you're, you have assistant coaches. You need, first of all, to teach the assistant coach the culture that you believe. If he comes from a different background, he's going to have a different, from a different culture. Teach him your culture. That's how we do it. And, and then teach him the detail, fundamental detail of the position that he's coaching. If he's a wide receiver, talk to him about being a wide receiver and get feedback from him. You and he spend time sharing what your concepts of being a wide receiver are. Uh, and give him two or three of the fundamentals that you are hold most dear to you in coaching that, then let him go. Let him go. He may, he may change a little bit. He may find a better thing. He may have brought to you uh, ideas that are superior to yours about it. But make sure you talk. Now, you don't have to talk about the big picture other than the culture, but you don't have to explain other people's jobs. Get him to where he, you're confident that he knows your job and then that you're willing to listen to him when he comes with a question. If he comes with an idea, uh, when I was a young assist, assist, assistant coach, I had a million ideas. And, and, and my head coach, who was a fellow named Len Casanova, was a great coach at Oregon. Uh, and he would sit there and he'd kind of have his eyes half closed and I'd draw these fantastic things up. He'd say, uh -huh, yeah, okay. But he always encouraged me. And he would buy into it, and, uh, but it always kept me going.